unit on computer networks. In this part of the unit, we're taking a look at data rates and understanding how data rates work. We all enjoy using the internet. We want our internet to be super fast. So in order for that to happen, we have to know how data rates work. So let's take a look at an example. We're going to say the user needs to download 120 pages of text per second. And we're going to assume that each page has 26 characters per line and 82 lines per page. What's the data rate in megabits per second that we're going to need in order to make this happen? We're going to assume that there's no compression to keep our calculations simple. So let's take a look. So if we want to calculate the data rate, we're going to need to know how to do that. So we're going to figure out data rate in megabits per second. And in order to do that, we need to figure out how much data there is. So there's 120 pages that we want to download per second. And we're going to assume that each page has 82 lines. and there's 26 characters per line and what we need to remember is when we're transmitting data we have to remember that each character each keystroke takes eight bits of information to transfer so for every character we need eight bits so we're going to multiply by eight so take our calculator and multiply this out and it comes to two nine nine five two zero zero so that is the number of bits and we want this to happen in one second we want 120 pages downloaded per second so that's the data rate that we're going to need if we divide this by a million remember one meg is a million divide this by a million and round off and we are going to need a network speed of three megabits per second in order to make this happen so that's it for this example hopefully this clarifies things on how we calculate data rates using text examples that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching see you next time